Since our initial graffiti threat at North Paulding High School, two of our other four high schools have had copycat shooting threats in the forms of social media posts and graffiti. That's three of our five high schools that have been impacted in the past 24 hours. Today's investigation at Paulding County High School resulted in the arrest of a student. I'm gonna let the Sheriff's Department address that in more detail. Again, student safety is our first and foremost priority. All threats against our schools and students are thoroughly investigated in coordination with the Paulding County Sheriff's Office. It's our goal to communicate responsive in a timely manner. That means the investigation is ongoing as we are providing information to the community. And in an age of social media, it is extremely challenging to stay ahead of the information and rumors being shared on other social, social media outlets. While all this is going on internally, we're continuing to work with the Sheriff's Office to coordinate a response to the threat. And this does create significant challenges for a school district. We are asking for our community support and assistance in communicating the gravity and seriousness as well as the dangers of making these types of statements. Whether on social media, verbally, or written on a bathroom wall, the impact is felt throughout our district and does impact our school and community. And again, this has been a significant disruption for our entire community over the past 24 hours. Since the beginning of these threats earlier this week, we have worked uh, in conjunction with the school district and we have, uh, have dealt with quite a few incidents. Um, as you're all aware, the North Paulding High School incident was originally a note that was written on a desk uh, indicating a school shooting that would take place today at North Paulding High School. We had additional deputies uh, at the North Campus, which consists of a high school, middle school, and an elementary school. We had additional deputies at each school today. Um, attendance was significantly lower uh, at the high school today, and the school district could comment on, on the specifics of that. Um, there were no incidents at North Paulding High School, thankfully. Um, deputies were there on scene uh, the remainder of the day, and as well as at the high school, or at the middle school and the elementary school. Uh, throughout the course of the day, we learned of two other incidents that took place at Hiram High School and at Paulding County High School. The Paulding County High School incident was a situation where a student had Snapchat a screenshot of a school district post. And what they said on the Snapchat screenshot was uh, basically that they wanted someone to come and conduct a school shooting at Paulding County High School. The school resource officer at the high school uh, began an investigation immediately and through diligent police work, he was able to determine who the individual was. The sheriff's office has arrested a 14-year-old male that attends Paulding County High School and he has been charged with uh, dissemination of information relating to terroristic threats and acts. Basically, um, that code section indicates that the student uh, relayed a terroristic threat via social media or some kind of online application. Uh, that student indicated that it was just a joke, uh, but at that point the, the arrest was made and so that's kind of the synopsis of that case. We also had an incident at Hiram High School where we had um, two different bathrooms that had graffiti on them indicating a school shooting that might take place on Monday. We also had another Instagram um, threat that was made towards the high school. That was determined to not have been made by a high school student and it was not made by someone who was in the county. So in a nutshell, we had uh, three different incidents like Dr. Otot uh, stated earlier that took place in a 24 hour period. And we wanted to come together and let folks know that this is taken very seriously. This is not a joke. And parents need to take control of their, their children's social media accounts and monitor them. This is not taken lightly, and we will prosecute every incident of this. This has caused a major disruption in Paulding County, in the school district, the sheriff's office, and in the community, and we will prosecute those in conjunction with the school district and the district attorney's office. In the North Paulding incident, we still don't have any additional information uh, other than we had a student that reported the, uh, the writing on the desk to authorities. We haven't been able to substantiate any of that, so no arrests were made at North Paulding. Uh, nor have there been any arrests at Hiram High School. Uh, deputies have looked into those thoroughly, and we will continue to look into those. Uh, at the Hiram High School incident, we do have some possible leads, and we're hoping to uh, continue working on those through the weekend and early into next week. Today at, Paul, at North Paulding High School is the perfect storm of events, quite honestly. Uh, we had a situation where tonight was prom. Prom requires attendance at school. Um, we also had a situation where historically um, 
anything like this would normally happen at Paulding County High or North Paulding High School. We knew there was a very low level threat. Historically, we would have handled that through no excused absences or any other sort of exemptions for attendance. Um, but we did have the increased law enforcement perspective. But as we look into the situations, we'll continue to evaluate those that are active at Hiram High School. Um, at this point, we plan normal school operations on Monday with an increased law enforcement presence. So you said you had to be at school to go to prom, but? That is correct. So, but that was waived in this instance. This has been perpetuated on social media by uh, students and their families, and so uh, it's, it's risen to a level uh, where there is required um, action by us as well as the school district. Um, it, you know, it, we're in the, the age of social media, and that's what drives the, the train now, and so we've got to act appropriately.